Okay, so let's do a timer. We'll put in uh, an instruction. I'll push I to bring up the instruction box. And I'll put Tim and go to details. So we know that we want it to be timer number zero. And oh, I think we can just put zero there actually. And then we want it to be for two seconds because it's a 100 millisecond timer. That'll be 20 lots of 100 milliseconds. And in order to do that, we've actually got to put the hash in front of it to tell it it's a number and not an address. So it'll change to set value here. So yeah. you can do that, didn't it? Yep. So that should do it there. So we'll join it all up and give it a try. And we'll have the output come here as the timer output. Was it T000 or was it just in set T0? Um, we can try that, let's try it. So you made the other one T0 there, didn't you? I did, yeah, but it should be the same thing. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that T000 will work. I don't know if T0 will work, I'll just try it. Oh, it does. Yeah, and it goes and it to T000 yep. anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's just a learn, another little quirk of um, what it's got there. So we'll try running it and see if it works. And I'll get my, oh, well, I'm still in this mode. That's a bit funny. So I'll do control J. Oh, yep, there it goes, counting down, it's finished, and it's reset. So that seems to be all working. Just have one more time. There it goes, counting down, and then reset. Can you just reset that with the buttons, man? To uh, with as buttons. enough, you know, you can click on it and go. For, or is it forcing it? You can force it. it, yeah. But without pushing the buttons, you've got boxes too, haven't you? Right click, right click, set on, set off. You're right. Yep. Okay. So now it's counting down. Yep. And can use the sets because nothing else is driving that um, at the moment. If this wasn't the simulator, then it would be driven. You'd have to use forces because it's an actual real world input that's being driven. Right. electrical signal. Yep. Yeah. 